Good morning, my name is Chance Johnson, and I am pleased to welcome you to the Clear Horizons Early College High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. We extend a special welcome to our parents, guardians, families, teachers, special guests, and friends. Your love and support for us is truly appreciated. Buenos días. Mi nombre es Catherine Rodríguez y tengo el honor de darles las bienvenidas a la graduación de Clear Horizons Early College High School para la clase de 2023. Quiero dar una bienvenida adicional a nuestros padres, guardianes, familiares, profesores, invitados especiales y amigos. Su amor y apoyo es muy agradecido. Chào buổi sáng, tên tôi là Lana Tran. Tôi rất hân hạnh và hết lòng cảm ơn đến toàn thể gia đình, phụ huynh đến dự ngày lễ tốt nghiệp trúc trùng học năm 2023. Và tôi rất cảm ơn và xin chào. Sub Bahaya, Mira Nam Saban Vorahe, Omoje 2023, Gay Glass, Scalia, Clear Horizons, Early College High School, Gay Graduation, Takari Me, Gusham Deed, Getehoi, Gushi Horehe, Om Apne Walden, Ostad or Kosusi, Mehmano Ko Dosto, Kokush, Amdeed, Getehen, Amari Liapke, Mohabat or Himayat, Wake Kibli Etarife. صباح الخير اسمي سلمى جبلة وأنا في غاية السعادة أن أرحب بكم في حفل تخرج مدرسة Clear Horizons Early College High School لدفعة 2023 ونرحب بشكل خاص بأبائنا وأولاء يمورنا وعائلاتنا ومعلمينا وضيوفنا وأصدقائنا حبكم ودعمكم لنا هو موضع تقدير At this time, please remain standing for the presentation of colors, pledges and national anthem. We are pleased to welcome the color guard from Brookside Intermediate. Clear Horizons men, please remove your mortar boards. Please remain standing until the color guard exits the field. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible.
Thank you, and please be seated. As we gather here in Challenger Columbia Stadium, we pause to remember the astronauts who perished in both the Challenger and Columbia space missions. Many of these astronauts were also members of the armed forces. These brave men and women served their country with pride, honor, dignity, and courage. Seniors, if any of you will be committing to serve in any branch of the military, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. We invite any members of the audience who are currently on active duty or who have served in the military at any time to please stand so that we may honor your courage and patriotism. Thank you for your service. As the senior class president, I am honored to introduce the other student leaderships for Clear Horizons. Please stand and wave as I call your name. Our student council executive president, Salma Gabala. Our student council executive vice president is Tulin Nane. Our student council and our senior class vice president is Chance Johnson. And our senior class secretary is Sarah Alvarez. Now I would like to introduce the members of our Clear Creek ISD Board of Trustees. Board President, Mr. Arturo Sanchez. Board Vice President, Mr. Jonathan Cotrell. Board Secretary, Mr. Jay Cunningham. Board Trustee, Mr. Scott Bowen. Board Trustee, Ms. Jessica Checa. and Board Trustee, Mr. Jeff Larson. I am also honored to introduce the members of the Clear Creek ISD Executive Leadership Team. Our Superintendent of School, Dr. Karen Engel. Our Deputy Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Dr. Robert Bayard. Our Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education, Mr. Franklin Moses. And last, but certainly not least, it is my pleasure to welcome the dedicated staff of Clear Horizons Early College High School. Our office staff, teachers, counselors, and administrators all work diligently to support each one of us on our journey. I invite all members of the Czech staff to please stand and be recognized. At this time, I would like to invite our principal, Ms. April Tidwell, to the podium to address, to address the graduates. Thank you, Katerin. Good morning, Clear Horizons. Today is a day of celebration, and I am so grateful to have the opportunity to stand before you. I've only been with you for a small portion of your educational journey, but you have made a lasting impact on me as a principal. I had the privilege of meeting many of you over last summer when you stopped by campus or through student council or maybe an ambassador meeting. My first impression of Clear Horizon students was that Czech students are special. You are polite, you are mature, and you are so kind. As the year continued, I became aware of the resiliency and service mindset 
that embodies a Clear Horizons student. We started the year at Senior Sunrise, and since that was my first major event as a principal, I have to admit I was a little nervous. I soon realized there was no reason to worry. In the darkness of the morning, many students showed up to serve. As you arrived, you came and said, what can I do to help? You set up tables, led fun activities, played games, and even stayed to clean up. I commented to the staff about how nice it was that so many helped out. They replied, that's what we do here at Chex. That same day, you received your frog partner. When I realized that a frog was your class animal, I knew this would be a special class. My first teaching job was in a biology classroom, and frogs are my favorite animal. How fitting that you chose a frog to represent the class of 2023. As you probably know, a frog is an amphibian. It can navigate between two environments, both water and land. They are truly resilient creatures. Similarly, each of you show resilience by success, successfully navigating between the two worlds of high school and college. In the world of high school, you conquered AP and honors courses, along with state-required testing and other TEA requirements. And in San Jack dual credit courses, you discovered some independence, learned the importance of organization, and most importantly, became a self-advocate. You balance the structures and procedures of high school with the freedom and the necessary self-discipline of college. While obtaining your high school diploma, each of you simultaneously earned over 50 hours of college credit, with most of you receiving an associate degree. With midterms came out this spring, I know that many of you were frustrated and disappointed we implemented the plan that failure was not an option because we knew our goal had not changed and everyone would graduate and no one was gonna be left behind. To my delight, you rallied around each other and embraced the plan. Students worked together, helping each other get grades up and finish strong. The fact that you are sitting here in front of me today is evidence that you never gave up and you were successful in both worlds, high school and college. I am so proud of you. What impresses me most about you though is that not one of you took this opportunity of attending an early college high school for granted. Being a part of Clear Horizons creates a culture of gratitude and service. The class of 2023 put in over 7,600 service hours in the community around us. You packed meals, served the hungry, planted trees, cleaned up trash, tutored students, and so much more. Many of you served as leaders of clubs and community projects. Your leadership strengthened us and helped us grow that culture of service and gratitude. Thank you for giving back to the community that invested in you. Never forget how serving the community shaped you and be sure to carry this forward as you move on to your next path. Whether it's on to a four-year college, a certification program, the military, the workforce, no matter your choice, you will always be a part of the Clear Horizons family. Now I leave you with words from my favorite frog, Kermit. This frog has to go his own way. This frog doesn't care what the other frogs say. This frog wants to be happy, and this frog has to try. This frog is gonna make it or know the reason why. This frog may slip and stumble, but this frog tries again. This frog will grumble, but fall to rise again. This frog has some climbing to do. This frog has some dreams that he's making come true. Nothing can stop this frog, and nothing can stop you, Clear Horizons. I wish you all the best.
Now it is with great pleasure that I invite Dr. Karen Engel to the podium to address our graduates. Well, good morning, graduates, proud families, and Team CCISD. I am truly delighted to congratulate you, the class of 2023, upon completion of your K through 12 journeys. Whether you spent two years with us or 12, we are extremely proud that at the end of the day, it is Clear Creek ISD who has the privilege of claiming you as esteemed alumni. As we celebrate today's significant milestone, it may seem May 19th was a true to life example of putting the cart before the horse. On that memorable day, you were presented your associate degree from the nationally recognized San Jacinto College even before receiving your high school diploma. So you are well acquainted with the sense of accomplishment after today, you are more ready to take on the world. In fact, I've come to learn that Clear Horizons Early College High School, class of 2023, is already quite familiar with the tenets of achievement, service, and tenacity. As one of the many leaders who walked alongside you in this road, it is so gratifying to rest in the assurance that our graduates are moving on with a clear demonstration of both knowledge and grit necessary to not only succeed, but compete in this fast paced world. Parents and guardians, as your co-pilots on this journey, we have worked together to instill a set of core values by which CCISD operates. It was our hope that these values transcended posters on a wall and found a home in our students' habits and hearts. Through their talk and walk, the seniors of Clear Horizons Early College High School have demonstrated this to be the case. And I'd like to share several shining examples of with you this morning. Joey Pyro embodies the spirit of citizenship and service learning. During his time at Clear Horizons, Joey has dedicated well over 2,200 hours of community service. Joey's motivation for serving others stems from a deeply personal place. At the age of nine, he experienced a profound loss of his father. In feeling helpless, Joey decided to become motivated and to become helpful. Joey is the go-to person for anything needed on campus or for his classmates. He will be attending Sam Houston State University in the ROTC program. Congratulations, Joey, and thank you for your servant heart. Victoria Pino's journey in the country began in eighth grade, navigating the challenges of a new language and culture. Despite what had to be daunting obstacles, Victoria met those challenges head on and with heart. Today, her teachers describe her as an incredibly well-rounded person who truly exemplifies CCISD core values. Victoria's time at Clear Horizons clearly checks most important boxes in life. Victoria has been an active student ambassador for Clear Horizons, the Helping Hands organizer, and the Business of Professionals of America. Well done, Victoria. Each of you on this field and on this stage in the class of 2023 has a unique story like Joey and Victoria. You will be hitting the ground running and leaving your indelible marks on our world. Keep up the good work and good works. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, 
and Clear Creek ISD, I also want to warm you, congratulate all the loved ones and friends here today cheering on the graduates. We share in this tremendous pride and joy that we know you are feeling. With that, we are going to move a little closer to the other speeches and the good part, that beautiful sound of your graduates being named, being spoken aloud on this stage. Congratulations, Clear Horizons Class of 2023. We wish you remarkable success in all your endeavors that await you on the other side of this graduation stage. Congratulations. Good morning. My name is Judith Sutphin, lead counselor for Clear Horizons, and I am pleased to introduce the salutatorian for the Clear Horizons class of 2023. Lana Tran is a daughter of Lee Cohn and Lee Tran and will attend University of Texas at Austin to study public health. Please welcome your salutatorian, Miss Lana Tran. Good morning, everyone. It is an honor that I stand before you as my class's salutatorian, but I didn't get here alone. It is with the support and love of my family and friends who without I wouldn't be standing here today. Not to forget my incredible teachers, professors, and mentors that I've been given the opportunity of meeting in this wonderful program. So, as we're all here today, there's something that I would like to reflect on the importance of. In elementary school, we all learned a skill that is now crucial to our everyday life. And no, I don't mean reading, not writing, science, social skills, or how to say the Pledge of Allegiance by heart. I'm talking about counting. Yes, counting, like the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. We learned how to count forwards from one to 10, how to count by twos, fours, even numbers, and odd ones. And most importantly, it seems, we've learned how to count backwards. Now, I don't know why that certain order is the one we all unanimously decided was going to be the most used. I mean, counting backwards isn't any faster than counting forwards. And the numbers are all the same. The best guess I could come up with was that counting backwards makes us feel like we are getting closer to an end. But why do we have to reach a finish line? Why does anything have to be an end instead of a beginning? Those are questions I found myself pondering. And sure, it's true that in order to reach a new beginning, we must go through an end. However, instead of solely seeing certain events as endings, let them act as transitions towards something new. Instead of counting backwards, count forward through every one of your future transitions knowing that you are reaching something great. For us especially, as we near the end of our years at Clear Horizons, going to the same places during free periods, coming to the same school at the same time every morning, and seeing some of the same faces every day, why does this commencement have to represent an ending? Instead of that, let us view this day as a transition into our futures, counting forward until we reach the next stepping stone that will lead us even further, wherever further may be. So, like I said at the beginning of my speech, one of the skills we learned in elementary school was counting. Yes, counting, like the numbers. Five, four, three, two, one. You see, that time I counted backwards and let that be the last time. Don't let it mark the ending or conclusion of this speech. Let it act as a transition, a transition into what is next, a transition into something new, a story that has yet to be written in a book that has yet to be read. So let's remember that every ending is merely a transition into something new. Thank you, class of 2023.
I would now like to introduce the valedictorian for the Clear Horizons class of 2023. Saban Vora is the son of Mizbah and Fessel Vora and will attend Texas A&M University and College Station to study engineering. Please welcome your valedictorian, Mr. Saban Vora. Four years ago, every single one of us made a choice to sign a dotted line and forfeit four years at a normal high school. Three years ago, every single one of us made a choice to learn behind a mask or behind a screen. Two years ago, every single one of us chose what careers to strive for based on our own passions and will. One year ago, every single one of us chose what path we would walk when we leave here today. And today, every single one of us chose to wake up for an 8 a.m. high school graduation. I would like to thank the graduates of the class of 2023 who woke up extra early to be here and the faculty of Clear Horizons who have been with us every step of our high school journey, especially Miss Baggs, who came to Clear Horizons just for us. <laughs> and of course, our families, and of course, our families and friends who have come to uh, uh, celebrate our accomplishments. Thank you for putting up with us for two decades. We couldn't have made it this far without you. We each have a unique story that lands us here today. But for most, our journey started a long time ago in the pre-pandemic age of 2019. Truly a time very different from the present day. We were thrust into a brand new canvas, several times larger than old ones. The faces around us change from the familiar to the unrecognizable. Faces that seen things far different from ours. Students that seen different schools, different districts, and even different decades. We are surrounded by strangers and tasked with making friends. Among this strange jumble of people, we took classes beyond our years, learning about people things and concepts that our 15-year-old self's response would have simply been, huh? We had to quickly adapt. Learning faster and more efficient methods of studying was first. Of course, the most vital thing that we did that year was learn how to procrastinate without falling too far behind. Or maybe, it was creating the friendships and bonds with each other, either or. During our sophomore year, we faced a new challenge that pushed us to our limits, a literal pandemic. We each faced our own deeply personal losses, every kind imaginable. Some lost their livelihoods, others family members, and others their mental health. When it came to school, we lost our connections, either by sitting at least six feet apart or by sitting alone in a quiet room with the only human touch coming from a computer screen. We had to find new ways to develop bonds and create new friends, a new normal friendship. It was in our junior year when we went back to school when we experienced our first full year at Clear Horizons, halfway through our high school journey, and we were lost like freshmen again. We had more advanced classes than ever before, more responsibilities, and of course, our mentorships. Before we had, sorry, we had to once again quickly adapt, not only in our studying habits, but also in how we network, switching from computer screen to face-to-face. -face. Before, we had a strict regime to follow, logging on at a precise time, 
Now it was up to us to find our own way and make our own choices. We were pushed forward, not from behind, but from within, pushed towards the future that we wanted. It was now our senior year, our final year as Coyotes, that we tackled the hardest obstacles yet. We made life-altering decisions, took all Sandra classes, and had a second mentorship. None of this was helped either by the very real and present condition that affects millions of individuals every year, known only as senioritis. When students faced with the limitless potential of the futures finally feel the exhaustion of 12 years of public education catch up with them. This year, more than any other, we have had to rely on each other, on these connections and bonds we have built over our years together, to earn that final needed credit, to earn that internship, or to simply combat senioritis through having a little fun. Over our four years, we have faced many obstacles and challenges. Some we knew when we signed that dotted line. Harder classes, internships, and more responsibilities both in and out of the classroom. Other challenges attacked us from the shadows without warning. A literal global pandemic. Despite it all, we have succeeded. Simple as that. We have defeated every obstacle in our way. We have passed the classes, learned the lessons, and built the friendships that have brought us to this ceremony, wearing black caps and gowns with medallions that show just how far we come from that age of 2019. We as students, as adults, and as friends have grown into people who can overcome hardship and look forward to tomorrow, knowing we will succeed because we already have. Congratulations, Coyotes, on making it this far. Now, let's go even further. Hello, my name is Donna Bags, and I am the Dean of Instruction and Assistant Principal. The Clear Horizons Student of the Year is a special award given to two students that embody the mission and vision of Clear Horizons. Clear Horizons staff chose two students that model core values both in and out of the classroom. These students are servants in the community and model what it means to rise up every day. Today, they wear a special medal with a torch to symbolize their leadership and dedication as Clear Horizon students. When I call your name, please stand and be recognized. The Clear Horizon Students of the Year are Victoria Pino Ospedales, and Rafe Malik. At this time, we are ready for the certification of candidates. Dr. Ingle, will you join me at the podium? Dr. Ingle, I hereby certify that these students have successfully completed the course of study as prescribed by the State Board of Education. In addition, they have satisfied all the graduation requirements as stipulated by the Board of Trustees of the Clear Creek Independent School District. Ms. Tidwell, I accept your certification and hereby declare these students as graduates of Clear Horizons Early College High School 
and Clear Creek ISD with all of the honors, rights, and privileges. Congratulations, Coyotes. Seniors on the first row, if you will please stand. We will now begin the diploma distribution. Our first graduate of the class of 2023 is the valedictorian Saban Afan Vora, summa cum laude, four-year superintendent scholar. The salutatorian for the class of 2023, Lana Tanak Tran, summa cum laude, four-year superintendent scholar. The Student Council Executive President, Salma Gabala, summa cum laude. The Senior Class President, Catherine Yamilet Rodriguez. The Student Council Vice President, Chance Benair Johnson. Donovan Thomas Abdo. <laughs> Gloria Olajumake Aboyade, summa cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Alvarez. David Amaya. Anto Sabu Antony, summa cum laude, four-year superintendent scholar. Mia Rebecca Armendariz, cum laude. Nicholas Benjamin Ariola, summa cum laude. Zeba Ashraf, summa cum laude. Belasan Hena Asakar. <laughs> Saim Hussein Awan, summa cum laude. <laughs> Alicia Ayala. Brennan Zane Ayers. <laughs> Maria Sehar Beg, cum laude. <laughs> Nilani Baramorgan, cum laude. Sydney Faith Boddicker. <laughs> Silesia Bora, summa cum laude. <laughs> Carlo Giordano Braun.
Kayla Michael Bryan, summa cum laude. Andres Antonio Bufo Lopez, magna cum laude. Trevor Nicholas Burke. Dylan Neil Carroll, summa cum laude. Matthew Alexander Chapa, cum laude. Liana Lourdes Cruz. Lean Muhammad Dagamoni, magna cum laude. Alia Sani, summa, Daniel, summa cum laude. <laughs> Lily Lane Doppeldang, magna cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Melissa Dawkins. Summa cum laude. Andrew Luke Dusterhus. Tasneem Eladi. Neha Eldo, cum laude. Brandon Stephen Escobar, summa cum laude. Annie Mary Forte, summa cum laude. Cassandra Jacqueline Gamma, magna cum laude. Dominica Elizabeth Garcia Ramirez. Alexandra Paola Gonzalez Vega, magna cum laude. Dave, David Andre Gonzalez. <laughs> Amelia Elizabeth Gonzalez. <laughs> Derek Luigi Guevara Lopez. Abdur Rahman Hassan, cum laude. Nicholas John Paul Hermosillo, magna cum laude. Here Monir Ismail, magna cum laude. Brooklyn Rose Jonikin. Ayan Afsal Khan, summa cum laude. Thirushi Misha Kiara Kerala.
Lan Nguyet Lee, summa cum laude, and four-year superintendent scholar. <laughs> Daniel Kemana Su Sujitan Legad. <laughs> Leonardo Lozano, summa cum laude, and four-year superintendent scholar. Sebastian Manuel Lozano, magna cum laude. <laughs> Maria Elizabeth Lucier. Rafae Shahid Malik, summa cum laude, four-year superintendent scholar. <laughs> Yahidi Mayali Martinez. Gabrielle Marie Maximos, summa cum laude. Mariela Elena Mendez. Brianna Celeste Mitchell. Izel Sitlali Moreno, magna cum laude. Tulene Nane, summa cum laude. <laughs> Wien Wok Bao. <laughs> Justice Xavier Okwazalesi Nuobi. Ashley Adelaida Pellico. <laughs> Victoria Alejandra Pino Aspedales, summa cum laude, four year superintendent scholar. <laughs> Joseph Paul Clark Pyro, magna cum laude. Angela Marina Portillo. <laughs> Fatima Gabriela Ramos Rodriguez, summa cum laude. <laughs> Oneli Michel Rios. Shelby Rochelle Robbins, cum laude. <laughs> Ramey Jane Robles, cum laude. <laughs> Audrey Jane Salinas, cum laude. Angelina Monet Sierra, cum laude. Edward Simon Jr., cum laude. Gloria Simon John, summa cum laude. Alicia Lynn Sulal. <laughs> Maria Princella Torres, summa cum laude. <laughs> Evelyn Rosario Vasquez, 
cum laude. Jake Alexander Villarreal, summa cum laude. Kenya Rebecca Vieda Gomez. Sophie Lauren Worthington. Rayed Khalil Zaydan. Alexa Michelle Zapata. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and please stand. <laughs> Members of the 2023 graduating class of Clear Horizons Early College High School, please move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, you are now alumni of Clear Horizons Early College High School. Congratulations and remember, in all you say and do, rise up. <laughs>